Hello everyone, this is Alex Trumbull from GPS Leadership Solutions. And today I wanna to talk to you about leadership, but in a slightly different context. As you can see, again, this is another raw and unfiltered episode, um, talking about this coronavirus, COVID-19 crisis, worldwide pandemic, um, and how we're learning and, and adapting to our new world. Um, so in the last video I shared, I shared how how happy and how encouraged I was because it seems like people all across this world are coming together to support one another in this time. You know, they're they're the, the virtual happy hours, uh, virtual meeting, the vir virtual um, karaoke, which is interesting. Um, there are people calling one another, um, their friends and family they hadn't talked to in a long time, just to make sure they're okay and. This is extremely heartwarming, and it, and it made me think of um, the aftermath of 9-11. See, in America, after 9-11 happened, everyone quickly bonded together. There was a solidarity. There was a support for one another that, hey, we're in this together. We're going to support one another and make sure we're all okay. Um, well, that's almost 100% true. See, during that time after 9-11, there was a significant backlash um, of aggression that came towards anyone who was Muslim and people who people thought looked like they were Muslim, which is always an interesting concept, right? There was aggression. There was not only slander. There was um, uh, anger. There was violence. There was discrimination. Um, There's a lot of very raw and unfounded fear towards that group of people that, that hurt a lot of individuals. Um, and I'm starting to see that here as well. See, there has been a reported uptick of aggression towards Chinese individuals and people who people believe look like or are Chinese, so really anyone who looks Asian. Um, there have been reports around the world, people being spit on, cursed at, literally beat up and jumped. Um, people saying, Get, you know, is your people who caused this? Go back to your country. You guys are you know, the, uh, making fun of their food and culture. Like, it's, it's, it's disgusting and it's wrong. And I'm gonna turn, oh, before I actually, I'll share this one quick story. Uh, my wife and I were walking the other day. Um, she's uh, Asian Burmese and as we were walking, a car pulled up next to us and they started yelling things at us. I couldn't understand. I couldn't make out everything they said, but judging by their body language, um, they were not nice things. And so again, I, my focus at that time wasn't on figuring out what they were saying, but it was more so making sure that my wife and I were safe. Um, but that that's unnecessary. It's unwarranted. It's not appropriate. And as leaders, as leaders, we all have to be able to use our voice. We can't stay quiet in times like this. When you see someone doing something and saying something inappropriate, um, calling this disease all types of things that are tied to a particular group, I think some of you know what I'm thinking of right now. Um, it's not appropriate. You have to be able to call it out. And you know, I just had someone right now who uh, hit me up on Facebook uh, who said, you know, they started a little thing saying, if you post anything or say anything about it being the Chinese virus, I'm unfriending you because that's not correct. And you shouldn't, and, it's, and, it's, and you know, it is um, sparking the fear and, and anger towards a particular group. So if you see these things happening, you see people um, discriminating or calling, saying inappropriate things or trying to harm your fellow brothers and sisters of this world who are Asian simply because they're Asian and people are afraid, you have to be, we have to be willing to call that out and say that it's wrong. And at the very minimum, if not educate them on it, say, look here, you know what? We can't speak. We can't talk if you're going to be doing these things because I'm, I'm not going to support this by, by, by remaining silent. Um, again, this is Alex Trumbull. Please click the like, subscribe button. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the topic. This is Again, obviously a very uh, fluid situation. I hope everyone out there is being safe. Um, please feel free to also subscribe to my newsletter at alextrumble.com. Um, look, and as always, stay strong, stay positive, and definitely stay moving.